What is going on guys, EZA9 here, and this is the upcoming patch for Overwatch. Now, there are a pretty good amount of changes that are really going to kill off the annoying tank meta that I just haven't been playing the game as much because of. And we're going to start off with the most relevant one being Roadhog not being so whole hog anymore. He's... He got nerfed. He got a pretty hard nerf. Uh, do I agree with it? 100%. I think his hook was absolute bullshit back when, you know, it went through walls and shit. That was a problem. It needs to not do that, and it's no longer doing that at all. It also is better because of the fact that Roadhog's hook... It feels more fair. Let's put it this way. It feels more fair. It pulls directly to him now, so he's guaranteed a kill if he lands his hook. And it goes all the way to him. He's guaranteed to kill. Like, look, boom. Guaranteed to kill. Where before, it kind of like, everyone was landing in different locations around him. And it really was really buggy, in my opinion. Uh, it just wasn't right. And you can see, you can no longer just throw it through a wall. Like, look at this. No longer can throw it through a wall. Boom. Can't throw it through a wall. But look at that. If you even have just the, the little bit of the side of their arm sticking out, you can pull them still. It pulls him around the wall, and then right to you. Perfectly fair. Perfectly fair. Honestly, I think it might even be that it has to see the person's head in order to pull. Like right there, see his arm sticking out, but you can't pull. And now you see his head. And now because I walked inside, it disconnects. This is exactly how the hook should have been from the start, to be honest. I know it's going to be more annoying for Roadhog players to land their stuff when people are strafing it out of cover. But he's no longer going to be this OP assassin that everyone played him for. Now, moving on to D.Va. D.Va has had a nerf to her health bar entirely. Uh, and the spread of her bullets has been pretty much increased to where... There's more, more bullets, but one less damage per shot, basically. And at longer range, she hits weaker. But at close range, she hits a little bit harder than she used to. So, in my opinion, she's kind of seems like she got a slight buff uh, with the damage. But it's more when she's close range. But at long range, it's still you still don't do nothing. It's basically the same. It's really so minimal of a change. But her actual health bar going down is definitely noticeable. Uh, and you just die a lot quicker with her. However, she feels more like she was before the tank meta hit. So... She feels a little more fair now. I, I am going to start playing her again because I just love her old self. Her new self is just too OP for me to just... I just didn't like being like that. Uh, I hate playing OP characters as anyone that knows from my channel. I don't play OP characters if I can help it. But, uh, yeah. Now, moving on to Ana. Now, Ana has had a pretty reasonable nerf, I would say. Uh, she now is able to throw down, you know, her heal mine, and now she takes, I believe, four shots to heal someone to full, roughly, instead of what it used to be, which is roughly three. Uh, and I've noticed the change pretty significantly, meaning her healing is no longer nearly as good as it used to be. And what I mean by this is that Ana right now is going to be in the situation where she's still a very good healer, but there's going to be one person that does it better than her now, in my opinion, and that is going to be Zenyatta. Um, Zenyatta is probably going to be the next one to be hit with the nerf bat. Uh, his Discord orb is going to be too strong again because of the tank meta being gone. And ultimately, he just needs to be adjusted because of that. Uh, another one that's going to probably get, been ner get back nerfed, actually, go back to where he was, is probably Soldier 76. Because he's going to be hitting way too hard now given that the tanks were nerfed back down. So, yeah. Expect Soldier and probably Zenyatta to be getting the next hit with the nerf bat. Uh, but Roadhog's changes, I like them. I think they're really fair. I'm enjoying the game a lot more on PTR right now than I am in the actual game, so hopefully they'll release this stuff soon. Yeah, uh, It just seems more fun. It feels more how it used to feel. Less tank meta. I feel like I'd actually play ranked again and not feel like I have to be playing tanks and, you know, one damage dealer because it just it just didn't feel very fun to me. I don't know what it was about it. It just didn't feel... Damage meta is always fun. 
Uh, tank meta in any game always just ruins it a lot of times. Some people may prefer it. I personally just can't stand being this OP tank running around killing everyone off because you can, you know? So, uh, yeah. Those are the changes coming to Overwatch. Uh, stay up to date with all things coming to Overwatch. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, recommend some games to me. And always, I will see you guys next time. Peace.